Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I am sorry about <laughs> the camera right now and the steering wheel being front and center, but my other option is to put the camera here and then the lighting goes really bad. So I'm gonna keep you guys over here. Sorry if the steering wheel is distracting to you, but I'm coming to you from the OBGYN. Today I have my 32 week prenatal appointment. If you don't know, my name's Alexa and I'm pregnant with baby number three right now. I'm probably going to start filming every single prenatal appointment that I have from this point till the end of the pregnancy because we are really getting down <laughs> to the end of it now. I think this is just a standard appointment today. I don't think anything too crazy is going on. I believe my next appointment is when I will get tested for group B strep, but today I think it's just like my weight and the blood pressure and the usual stuff that they do. We'll see if they check my urine. They've only done that like twice. I'm not used to that. At the previous location that I used to go to, they would check it like every single time, but this place does not check it frequently. So we'll see if they check it today. And I do have two questions for my doctor stupid steering wheel. Um, I would like to know what position she is in. It's really hard for me to feel it because number one, I'm not trained to do that. And number two, I have an interior placenta. So when I'm trying to feel with my hands, what body part is where, I don't know. I can't figure out what is what. I cannot even find the head. I know it's supposed to just be a large, round, hard part. I literally can't feel it. From what I feel internally, I feel a lot of diagonal pressure and it's making me a little bit worried that she's in an oblique presentation. I feel like she's head down because I feel hiccups down very, very low. So I'm assuming that's like her upper torso hiccuping. So I do think she's head down, but I think she might be just kind of diagonal. So we'll see if they can tell me what position she's in. And that kind of goes along with my second question, which is, will I have another ultrasound before the end of the pregnancy? In a lot of places, it's not routine to get any more ultrasounds, but I don't know how they determine then exactly what position the baby is is in. If my placenta has moved, I just feel like I should get another one. And also it's Hi. fun to see her and I miss her <laughs> and I want to see her. Quiet, quiet. quiet skibbity toilet. Are any of your kids obsessed with skibbity toilet? It's like the weirdest thing. So that's all I have going on for this appointment. I'm going to run in there now and I will let you know what happens when I come out. Okay, hi guys, I am back home now, all done with my appointment. It went really well. It was a little bit more involved than I initially anticipated, so let me tell you about it. So I did end up doing a urine test and it was specifically testing for glucose and protein in my urine. So it was just this little strip with two colored patches on it. One I'm assuming is for the glucose and one is for the protein. It was like a yellow and a blue color on the strip. I just had to pee into a cup and then dip it in for a few seconds. And I'm assuming that there would be a color change if either of those two things were detected in my urine, but there was no color change. So that all looked good, thankfully. The next thing that I was told is that the Tdap vaccine is recommended between 32 and 35 weeks gestation. They offered it to me today and I needed to read a little bit more about it. So they printed me out a sheet about the Tdap vaccine and I did end up getting it. I also ended up getting my flu shot while I was at it because why not, right? <laughs> Although I'm typically not one to just get vaccines or take medications without really thinking about it. I mean, heck, I like don't even take a Tylenol unless I am literally dying. Pretty much the only reason that I got the Tdap vaccine is because I'm pregnant and the flu shot. I never usually get the flu shot. The Tdap vaccine is for tetanus, diphtheria, I never know how to say that, and pertussis, which is whooping cough. So obviously pretty gnarly things that I don't want baby getting. I'll put up a little bit more information right here of what they gave me about the Tdap vaccine during my appointment. And then my doctor answered both of my questions. So he did confirm that she is in an oblique position, meaning she's basically diagonal, head down. What I was thinking was correct, but he said that I don't need to start actually worrying about the position until 35 or 36 weeks. He's like, I'll tell you, but it, it really doesn't matter 
at this point at 32 weeks. I really haven't felt her move positions that much. So he's like, she'll be doing flips and this and that until then. I'm like, I don't know. She really doesn't move. Like she kicks a lot, but she's not lipping over a lot. Part of me is still a little bit concerned that she's not going to move from this diagonal position. Basically her head is down into a weird part of my pelvis. It feels really weird. Like I don't like her being diagonal like that. And obviously I would like to have another vaginal delivery if I could, because I do want at least one or two more kids after this and three C-sections would be crazy. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know if you can do three. I, I know you can do two. Three, I think is pushing it. I really would like to have at least one more vaginal delivery if I can. So according to him, I still have a few weeks before I need to get concerned about her position. So that's good. And then in regards to if I'm going to have any more ultrasounds before the end of the pregnancy, he said no, that it's not routine. So he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, if you're otherwise healthy and things are going well, we don't usually do a third trimester ultrasound. That is a sad face emoji and I just want to see her. However, I am still wondering how they figure out if my placenta has moved or if baby is in the right position and presentation. Like they don't know if baby is face down or face up. Maybe they have another way of figuring it out. I'm really not sure. In New York, I'm pretty sure I got a 36 week 3D ultrasound with Copeland. Um, with Adalia, I can't remember if they did a third trimester ultrasound. I'm assuming that they did because it was the same practice. But yeah, I guess here it is just not standard to do that third trimester ultrasound. Not the biggest deal in the world, but I am a little bit sad and a little bit curious. But either way, I think I start getting vaginal exams at 36 weeks. So I guess if my placenta had moved, let's say over my cervix and I had placenta previa, they would be able to tell that when they check for dilation. I'm assuming. I don't know. That is a guess. The only other thing that they did at this appointment was check her heart rate with the fetal Doppler and that was good. So that was the whole appointment. So yeah, I will come back for my 34 week appointment, which is exactly two weeks from now and I will let you know what happens then. Like I said, I think I'm getting my group B strep swab at that appointment. That'll be fun. And I will let you know if she changes positions or what's going on. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're so close to the end. It's so exciting. Thank you for making it to the end of the video and I hope this was helpful for you if you are also pregnant or if you are a partner of someone who is pregnant or if you're just curious about pregnancy and what the heck goes on. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because that helps my channel so much and leave me a comment below. I'm an open book. Ask me whatever you want or just say, hey girl, hey, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.